Hello, today we're going to teach you all about the carburetor on your DT125R. All the basic bits that go wrong, all the bits that can give you problems and basically everything that you need to know about an old DT carb. Right, these are TM carburetors. What's fitted as standard to the DT is a TM28, which is a 28mm carb. Jetting is all basically standard. I'm not going to go into numbers because I'm not a sad bastard. So basically speaking, I'm just going to tell you about the basics. If you want to know about jetting, get a manual. But here we go. This is the basics as I know it. And if you want to com conflict in what I'm saying, just do it by commenting. All right. Right. You get your old body. This is quite a corroded one. It's been through the ultrasound, but it needs some more time to get to cleaned up. But what you've got here, right, this is the top, top body of your carb. We'll go through it. That's your pickup for your choke, that pipe there. It feeds the actual choke opening there, which is controlled via the plunger, which is still in the parts bath. When you lift the plunger, that opens up a rich fuel supply. The main bits, you've got your, in there sits the slow running jet, which is a fixed slow running jet. And your main jet screws into there, which goes into the top of the emulsion tube. The common fault people make when they clean the carburetors out, if you see how bad this is, when this came out, that was absolutely solid. All those holes were made up with sort of like sludge and slurry. And this had not been cleaned out for years, a bit like my fingers, I do apologise. I look like I'm, yeah, at least I'm not a gynaecologist. Right, and so yeah, that tends to get made up. So you have to remove this, and to remove this... You'll notice it's got a dowel in there, pegging that side there, that sits and aligns with a cut out there. But what you do is you take a suitable punch or drift, and you uh, unscrew your jet, take the washer out of there, and knock it out down into the carb. I mean, this is shocking, this one. It's been stood with water in it, but it'll do for our purposes. Right, the TM28 is a power jet carburetor. It differs from the standard barrel carburetors that fitted on the early DTR from 1988, which had a round, standard Mikuni slide carb, because it's got what's known as a power jet, which is fed from the very bottom. Let me get a pointer. It's fed from that bottom bowl there, in there, and it feeds through a drilling down there, up to that pipe there, which in turn feeds to how do we get to it oh my god it's on the front of it you silly bell end it feeds that one there and up through to this pipe here and gives a decent mix through into the venturi or venturi that controls a certain percentage of your actual jetting your base jetting is controlled by the idle air screw and the actual slow running jet slow running jet Mid-range is controlled by the main jet and the needle. And then when you're full throttle, basically speaking, with your needle whacked straight up high, your main jetting is controlled purely by the main jet and the emulsifying capabilities of your emulsion tube. Right, so starting issues. If you can get starting issues with one of these things, it's generally due to the fact... There's a lot to tell you, lots to tell you about these, isn't there? Take it all in there. That there, in there you'll see a little brass jet, the very fine brass jet. That tends to get made up. And if that's not made up, it'll be made up down there because that is your start jet, it's your choke jet. There's also another choke jet. It's a secondary choke jet, which is on the end of that pipe there. That must be clean as well. Right, what next? What else are we gonna tell you about? Yes, take those petals out the top as well. These petals that sit in the side there, take them out because that fills up with gunge. Common fault when people are cleaning carburetors, they don't take them to pieces fully. That's got to come out. The needle seat's got to come out. That's getting replaced. Normally, I replace these as well because if you note on the very tip of that, that is the most gunged up pile of shit you've ever seen. And <laughs> the actual fucking rubber tip's missing off the end of it. It's not going to seal much, is it? Oh my days. There should be like a Viton rubber black cone on the end of that. Uh, it'd flood a lot if you installed that. And if you notice in there, there's a little tit on the end of that. I apologise for my fingers. Again, I'm not a gynaecologist, so it doesn't matter. 
that's spring loaded that and if that's seized that will upset your flow tight as well right I can't think of anything else to tell you apart from the tang on there is to adjust your flow tight with again check the manual I think it's around about 21 mil from the gasket face that the flow tight sits at from that face there check the manual again I'm not going to quote chapter and verse and stand to be corrected but I think across the range Makuni have always worked around about 20 21 mil for a flow tight for a functioning flow tight to give you a decent uh, level of fuel in the float bowl right got any questions don't ask them today because I'm going to be totally shit faced in half an hour I'm going to face a few tins of beer and fall down flat on my face oh oh another thing this carburetor came in a job lot of bits that you might have noticed I'm selling on uh, on, on the group on Frankie's French Imports got some nice stuff and I also got some pants stuff but there we go that's the way it goes uh, I've got to show you though this here this this screw on this one you see that oh it's very nice to see one that comes out easy Let's show you this. I can't believe it when I got in there. Jai, oh, you've had no to do with this. Oh my fucking god. Someone's made a Prometheus pellet. They've tapped out the fucking carburetor to M6B1.25 and fucking Medorite minced up bollocks in there. For what would be a nice carburetor. So don't just buy what you, you, you... I mean, it looks nice, doesn't it? I mean, I, I'd have given 100 quid for that. Uh, but unfortunately... Oh, and the other thing is some, some buffoon, for the want of a better word, has been in the bottom of that one and decided that uh, that needed snapping off. <coughs> so there's no choke pickup jet on it. Looks good, doesn't it? I can't bring myself... That will be used for spares. I cannot bring myself to sell it on to anyone. So there you go, sorted. And this will purely be for me as well because there's no definite adjustment on the... Uh, I'll only sell it on if it works well on a bike I'm doing, but there's no adjustment. Well, I can't take that out to clean it, so there you go. Right, so I hope you're enlightened. I hope you realise that uh, carburetors aren't the dark art that they always thought they were. You can actually work on them. They're not scary to work on. And, yeah, it's quite rewarding when you find some shit. So have a dig about in your carburetors. See you in a bit.